The whole point of doing art therapy is that the client expresses himself or herself, totally lose themselves in the artwork, spend their whole hour doing this image, filling the entire page with color, don't leave anything white, make clear choices about every single thing, and there's so much there, it says it all. Yeah, hi, my name is Rob. I'm the director of the Center of Educational and Clinical Art Therapy. I think art therapy can, has a lot to contribute in Australia to get a better health outcome for people by working with the unconsciousness in combination to other therapeutic modalities. Sigmund Freud talked about the iceberg. What you see from an iceberg is just a tip. And this is often what we see when clients come to us to counseling. You only see the tip of the iceberg, what they're thinking about their problem, what they've done so far. But the big part of the iceberg, as we know, is underneath the surface. We're driven by unconscious forces. The really exciting thing about art therapy, I believe, is what truly drives your life is actually visible. You can actually witness that with your clients while he's describing his picture. We can go more deeply into the imagery, where it comes from, and it reflects something much deeper. And personal. You, know, you don't have to be artistic to be able to do it. You, could, you know, everyone likes to put something on paper, you know, from small children, you know, like to, and then to use that and to be able to go into a deeper awareness of yourself, you know, that's a great discovery. Choose a picture that represents your life at the moment. So whatever is happening for you right now, have a look at the pictures. Which one would you like to choose? I've got a teaching degree and, and I'm an artist so I, I've, I've always been fascinated in how you can use art to help kids. I have an interest in art and I always have from when I was little and working with youth as well, troubled youth, so using art as a way that I could help them. Being able to draw what's happened as well for them feels a lot safer rather than having to talk about it. Who would like to have a look at their picture? He's just really free and enjoying himself. I came to it particularly because I work with children and adolescents and I think it's a really great way of getting them to feel comfortable and to talk. It helps you with sorting through the things that, that are going on in your life and you've got a group to support you. Um, you get to know each other really, really quickly. I think um, in the first few weeks like you get to such a deep level through the artworks that you get to know where everyone's at really quickly. Um, so it's nice to see everyone once a month. Um, you become really close to them. The way Secrets course works is that it's very experiential. I want my students to be involved, to do art therapy, to draw their pictures, to sculpt sculptures. I want them to work with each other. I will work with them, with their pictures, so they can experience how it is to be a client and to be an art therapist. I've realised when I'm looking at it that this bit doesn't fit in. When I was sticking it all together I didn't even realise, but now I take a step back, it probably shows something in my life that's a bit out of place and random and messy. You're going to look at the picture and see what is happy in the client. He can't see it right now, but there is something in you that is already happy. While doing Rob's introductory weekend, I found that his knowledge on art therapy was just fantastic, um, but I also found that his experience um, of working in other roles as a psychologist and also that he'd done theology just kind of has given the course so much more depth. Some courses in psychology can be quite confronting and upsetting, but this one I always go home feeling buoyant and hopeful. So that's good. I think it's really important to have a, um, something that gives you re positive resources. And that's what Rob seems to really focus on, positive resources in, within yourself. 